Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez with Fino Boxing here with Scott Quigg. Uh, Scott, good to see you. We're about to go into uh, Superfly 3, but I, I'm glad I got to see you. Uh, uh, congratulations on joining the Zone. I know you have a fight October 20th. Uh, let me know how excited are you to be part of this new family? It's going to be good. You know, it's a, it's a massive platform. It's good to be out, um, being based over in America now as well and the Zone being over here. It's, you know, it's exciting times. And uh, no opponent yet that you know of, but you're back inside Wildcard. Yeah, back at the Wildcard now, um, preparing for the 20th. Uh, no confirmed opponent yet, uh, but whoever it is, I'll be ready for. Last time we saw you had a great war with Oscar Valdez. Um, how are you feeling now? I mean, that was a pretty brutal war. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the fight. Um, it was, you know, I helped the crowd and, and everybody else watching enjoyed it. I come up short on the night, but I'm back in the gym now working hard. So for next time, I, you know, work my way back into getting an opportunity for a world title. You know, I'll be, you know, there to win it. That's where I was heading with the victory this October 20th. How close do you see yourself uh, for another world title? I'd say probably two fights, two fights away. Um, I, I need two good wins. Um, and that's just to get, my, get myself back in. You know, maybe maybe two or three fights, you know, two good wins and then an eliminator to get myself in line because I don't think, you know, people will just give me a voluntary because they're going to have a very, very hard night's work for a voluntary. So I think I need to get into a mandatory position. Um, but I'm confident, you know, I will become world champion again. Last time I talked to you, you mentioned that you'd be interested in fighting someone like the likes of Leo Santa Cruz or Abner Mattis. Abner Mattis just actually passed by just a few seconds ago. You saw him. Yeah, you should have talked up to him, you know, start chatting, maybe get a fight with them. You know, they're, they're the fights I want to be involved in. Yeah. You know, they're the fights I want to be mixing in. And they're the ones that I believe that will be cracking fights, great entertaining fights for the fans. But I believe I, I can beat them sort of people. Speaking of entertaining fights, uh, before we see yours, of course we have next week Canelo Triple G. Um, what did you think about the first fight? I thought it was, you know, it was a good fight. Um, I thought Triple G won. Um, I thought Canelo did better than I thought he was going to do. I, I didn't think he was going to be strong enough to hold Golovkin off, but it's, um, it's it, it was a good fight, and, and I'm excited to see this one now as well, especially with the drama that went on afterwards and stuff like that. So uh, it, it's uh, exciting times for boxing, and it's a big weekend next weekend. With all the drama that's been happening with that fight, with what you saw on the first one, how do you see the second one? I think Golovkin stops him in round 10, really? between 8 and 10. Really? Yeah. Um, I think he's got a. I think Golovkin will be better, but I also think um, Alvarez will be better as well because he, he now knows that he can deal with the power. He, you know, there, there was obviously doubt, the questions in his mind that is Golovkin the beast of what he was, and you know, it, it'll be a good fight. You know, one that I'm looking forward to. We'll see you next week. All right, Scott, thank you so much for talking to us, and good luck on October 20th. Thank you.